We head from the Playhouse to the movie theater where the Durban Film Festival is now underway in South Africa. This year marks the 37th edition of this event, which is also the continent's oldest cinematic industry gathering. And as hundreds of movie makers, producers, and actors from across Africa descend on the coastal city for the showcase, Samitra Nadu brings us an inside look. It's a film industry gathering that has grown over the years, not only in size, but in stature too. The festival has for um, a long time really been a kind of a world-class celebration of global cinema, you know, film from around the world. But over the last, especially over the last 10 years, there's been a massive increase in African and South African content. So now we're at the point where we are one of the leading showcases of African film and certainly South African film. The festival has become an important platform for local filmmakers trying to break into the international market. The Durban film market will run alongside the festival, giving industry players an opportunity to connect. It's a platform for African filmmakers who have projects in development um, and are wanting to broaden their networks, wanting to make links with the global markets and obviously hopefully want to uh, attach uh, deals to their projects in, in development. Apart from securing deals, the 10-day festival is a real treat for film enthusiasts. The festival will hold 250 screenings of feature films, documentaries and short films. 175 films will be showcased. Almost half the films were made in Africa. Well, as African filmmakers, we deal with African stories. We tell the African story and we want Africans to consume their own story. But we also want the overseas people to also know the African story as told by Africans. So we believe the Durban International Film Festival it's one of those big festivals that offers that opportunity that we really need to have as African filmmakers to tell our own story. A lot of the investors talk about uh, looking for real African stories, but of course those real African stories have to be able to travel uh, across many different audiences, have the universal, you know, the universal theme, so to speak. Um, and that is the conversation that we, is, we, we find is going on at Durban Film Martin. There are the real African stories and then there's, the, there's what the global markets demand. Um, and the conversation that's happening is where those two, those, those two ideas, ideas meet. Journeyman, a documentary feature film, was chosen to open the film festival. The story follows three South Africans who reflect on whether Nelson Mandela's vision of equality in a rainbow nation has been achieved. Sumitra Nadu, CCTV, Durban.